I, we just get a lot of questions about yeah. areas to move based on schools. And I've just noticed that you don't comment terribly on that. And I just thought you could talk more about why and how do people find out the information that they want about yeah. schools? So this is, a, this is one of the things that honestly, a lot of real estate agents and brokers get wrong. And what I mean by this is we're regulated by the state, right? We have a license to sell real estate or a license to be a broker and supervise salespeople. And due to anti-discrimination laws and ethical boundaries and code of ethics, there, there are limitations to what we can say and do. In my opinion, and certainly based on the letter of the law, a good agent and broker can give you some information, but can't give you some other information in relation to, hey, we like this kind of school. Great. Here are some resources where you can identify schools you like and schools you don't like. Once you've done that, then I can help you research, find, connote, negotiate, all those things on that real estate in those areas. What I have to be very careful to participate in is, and let me, I'm going to say something that sounds insane in a second. Let me just preface that. It might blow your mind some of the things clients and prospective clients have told us over the years. I've had people say, I'm this kind of ethnicity or language or socioeconomic group, and I don't want to live by anyone else like that. You're like, what? Or they'll say, I'm this kind of socioeconomic status, race, ethnicity, language, background, and I will only live by other people like me. By the way, it's a free country. Those people can do that. I can absolutely not say, hey, this is a neighborhood where this kind of person lives. What I can say is here's a website that can give you demographic, income information, test scores, all that kind of stuff. That's public data. Here's a link. Go investigate, and then you can tell me where you want to live. We are not able to say, you should want to live here. I would not want to live over there. A, that's kind of cruddy. B, we're literally not allowed to do that. And so we're very, very, very careful. So that's why a lot of the times we don't answer some of those educational or income or race and ethnicity type questions as directly. It's not because we don't want to serve clients and, and our listeners. It's because ethically we cannot. And sometimes, to be honest, it stifles the client's process. They're part of the process of discerning what they want. Now we can help them figure out what they want, meaning ask them some good questions that help them be more thoughtful. You know, why, why is that important to you? Tell me why you like this area over that area. And your answer can be your answer, whether it's sounds loving or not. It's a free country. You can do what you want. And I can help you clarify that some. I know that's a long answer because it's a careful answer, but that's why we're not always like, this area is better than that area. Different people want and like different things. So that's the short answer. 